Welcome to the October edition of Cornerstone Connect. We have a very special program planned just for you. The sisters of Sister to Sister stop by to celebrate 10 seasons of shows. Pastor Gary Mitrick will reveal the treasures of heaven. And I can't wait to share with you the letters from the mailbag telling what God is doing through your support of Cornerstone Network. All that and more coming up next. Welcome, I'm your host, Amanda Brocker, and I just have one question for you. Have you received your Hope Today newsletter in the mail? If not, please give us a call at 888-665-4483 or go to www.ctvn.org. We would love to connect with you. We want you to know what's happening here and we want you to be involved. So I just have to say thank you to many of you who have wrote in comments to us. We appreciate it. This is from Karen. She said, I enjoy CTVN very much. Her favorites are Joyce Meyer, Rick Renner, Andrew Womack. She's been watching CTV for almost since the beginning under the Bixlers. And we just thank you, Karen, for supporting our network and for letting us know what you like. We're glad to be here for you. This comes from, let me see, Sally. Thank you for writing in. She said, I am grateful for Christians in PA who prayed for me. Please use this gift to support the outreach that you have been given. And this is still from her. Thank you for your kind, dedicated service to others through your words and attitudes that demonstrate his love. Her prayer request is that others would watch Cornerstone Television and continue to grow in his love and wisdom. Well, Sally, thank you. And that is our prayer here as well. You know, everything that we do is to help people know who Jesus is. We desire for that relationship to be cultivated. And we thank every one of you who donate to our station to help us. This comes from Robert and he loves the Origins show. Robert, you and me both, you know, it's so important to know our beginnings and that we can trust God's word. Genesis is the truth and you can stand on God's word. He'll never leave you nor fail you. And I'm just thinking in this month's newsletter, we don't have graphics up for it yet, but get yours in the mail because Katie Farrell put a delicious dashing dish recipe in there for Crock-Pot Minestrone Soup. It's that season where the, the cooler air's coming in and I don't know about you all, but I love some good soup. Sit around the table like Arlene taught us on at home. Minister to your family. You know, don't just give them spiritual food, but give them physical food to nourish their body. Let them know that they are loved, that they are seen. And maybe if you don't have any family at your table, I encourage you, invite a friend. There is someone in your sphere of influence that could use your influence, use your love to just let them know that they're seen and heard. Well, I'm excited because coming up, my friend Anna Fry sits down with the sisters of Sister to Sister. Stay tuned. Are you facing a detour? Are things not as expected? Discouragement, frustration, anxiousness, sickness? God loves you more than you can ever know. Romans 8.39 assures nothing in all creation will ever be able to separate us from the love of God. Call our prayer line or connect with us online. Well, we're so glad you're hanging out with us on Cornerstone Connect. I'm Anna Fry, and I think these ladies need no introduction. They are the sisters of sister to sister. And ladies, we, you, are embarking on your 10th season of programs. And I tell you what, I remember sitting at the very first audition with all of you. And so I've been with you from the beginning and it's awesome to see where you've come. So tell me, what does 10 years feel like? 
it feels pretty amazing that we've been able to share our heart with the people for all these years. I mean, it's to me, it's it's totally ad lib. It's kind of fly by the seat of our pants, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, we all think of things, especially everybody else. I don't. They do. They get scriptures. But for me, it's totally ad lib television, yeah. which is amazing because we all know that the Bible is the blueprint, Anna. And we're able to use that blueprint to share our hearts with the people. So good. Right. I think 10 years together too, it's really like, I, I was in a totally different place. So yeah. in a sense, we really, grew, I grew up with mm -hmm. these ladies yeah. it, very much in a decade. So much has transformed in my life. And there's not much about my life that they don't know. Right. It's very, it's it, like, I was thinking like at the end of our life, if, if I'm at one of their funerals or they're at my funeral, we're gonna really know. Like this is somebody I really know how they think, what they value, what they place a priority in their life, the name of their husbands who, I mean, we've got each other's back. Yeah. So it's been life transforming for me. Yeah, 10 years, like that is a big number, <laughs> you guys. Yeah. Like when Robin said, like when she sent out and said like, we're gonna be celebrating the 10th year. It was, I was like, really? Like that was shocking. And in some ways it went by so fast. Like, you know, they, what do they say? Like time flies when you're having fun. Yeah, time flies when you're having fun. And I think we have had so much fun, like mm -hmm. so many laughs, but, but Amy's right. We've done so much life together mm -hmm. and I, I count it like such a privilege, but you know, when I, when I'm, you know, was inviting friends and family to, you know, come for the, the, the 10th anniversary taping. They were all like, 10 years, you've been doing this for 10 years. And I'm like, yeah. And it has been such a blessing and a privilege. And I'm so grateful for the viewers and know, just for the, for, the, for the station and for yeah. everybody that has supported and just, you know, kept it going. And I'm just so grateful that we have you know, had each other to just, you know, keep it going. And I hope we go 10 more. I know. Yes. Right. Keep watching, yeah. keep watching. Right. 10 years is 267 episodes. Yes. Good math. So yeah, what's wow. it feel like? Wow. You know, you know what comes to my mind? I, I've always wanted a way. My father was like an evangelist. He could preach to anybody. He was giving, he was loving. And when this opportunity came up, I thought, go into the gospel and preach the word. We have such an opportunity in a different setting to preach God's word. I feel so humbled, so privileged, the little that I know to be able to share. And when my daughter gets on Instagram with her friends and watches a crazy episode of something we said or did, I'm like, thank God they would never have heard it or seen it somewhere else, but here on Sister to Sister. It is truly amazing to think of all the life that you ladies have experienced together in 10 years. Mm -hmm. So what have you learned about each other? What haven't we, learned? What haven't we <laughs> learned about each other? That's kind of zip lip, I don't know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. About this, what has been the part that has brought you the most joy? Mm -hmm. the, I think the sisterhood, I think that, you know, that we have so much fun out here, but I think it's the behind the scenes when we're in the green room getting our makeup done and the things that we talk about and learn from, you know, about each other, about the life we live. And mm -hmm. I think that has brought me the most joy is just the true friendships mm -hmm. that we've built with each other. And I think that uh, we're so different. Yes. You can see our different lifestyles and the different way we approach things. I'm so excited that we're showing others you can be different, yet get along. You can be respectful. You can give your opinion without putting someone else down. And I think that's the wonderful thing that we are showing and that's the thing that brings me joy that I can disagree with somebody without somebody that with somebody then still loving me despite that and we all love Jesus mm -hmm. that's the main thing but what, what brings me so much joy is when one or the other bursts into song or for example <laughs> when Flo did the pole dance <laughs> 
<laughs> so we have had many moments. Mm -hmm. I know. What brings me the most joy is, it's, it's the consistency of showing up yeah. month after month, year after year. I mean, always, right. no matter what is happening in our life, in that season, transitions, changes, upset, loss, right. we show up and, yes. and it brings this steady consistency. And then through conversations, you end up laughing out loud or you're, you, you know, God shows up yes, in your midst and it really is ironing, sharpening iron. Yeah. It's, it's living out the scripture that we quote all the time. Yeah, don't, don't be fooled by the fact we come here with anxiety. Yeah. Right. We come here with problems. We come here with things that have gone on in yeah. our lives. Absolutely. And we come here trusting God to use us no matter what has happened in those circumstances. I come from work, I come out. You know, there's so many things going on. So don't feel like God can't use you because you're busy or you're doing something else, he can use you in the moment and right. we all focus on the moment and we go for it. That's right. Yeah, because behind the scenes, sometimes there are seasons where you're dealing with very difficult things that want to require every part of you yes. and yet you come here. And so speaking of hard things, what has been the hardest thing over the years? Well, this is, what's hard for me right now is to not grab this thing and start, <laughs> and start being the, and I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. I want to take it over control. That's kind of hard, but I got it, Anna. You got this. I'm just like this. Uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's definitely not all laughs. I mean, you guys see right. us on the show and we do laugh a lot, but we have cried together. Right. I mean, we have, and I, that's, I mean, that's, I would say that's another one of the joys is that I have, I have called all of my sisters in, for different reasons for the hard things. And they have been there for me through really hard things. Mm -hmm. I think the hardest thing is when we don't agree, because I don't like mm -hmm. contention mm -hmm. and I don't like, I don't like strife. So I, I know that people like it when we <laughs> right. don't agree, but to me, that's one of the hardest things for me. It, it, uh, it wrecks me inside. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, but it makes for, for good TV. It makes I, <laughs> I, uh, I am really going to be honest about this. I remember when we first started and Amy always closed because she's just good on her feet. And, and then when they said, uh, you got to read this scripture and say something. I'm like, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I'm doing that. I was really pushed to, when we do the closing, because I'm by myself. And I don't like to be on TV by myself. But am I by myself? The Lord's with us. So they have encouraged me through the closing. You won't see me nervous there on the closing. Hopefully my hands are shaking <laughs> below. And I have grown through that to learn and who would think that I would be nervous or up disturbed? But you don't realize what people are thinking inside. So if you're nervous about something and you're out there and the Lord is pushing you on, just think of me saying, no, I don't want to do this, but now doing it. Yeah, it's awesome to see how the Lord stretches he each does. one of us. Okay, lightning rounds. What would you say to the viewers who say that you ladies are the girlfriends they never knew they needed? God often Aww. gives you what you don't know you need. I would say have a cup of coffee and sit down. Yeah. I would say we feel the exact same way about you and you really are friends of ours. We feel like we know you as well as you know us. And, and when I go, I don't think there's anywhere I've gone that they don't say, are you a sister? <laughs> you yeah. know, I'm in the shopping center, yeah. I'm yeah. buying food, I'm on the street. And it's delightful and I hug them. What is your name? We connect in a way. So even though we can't see you, we connect. And when we see those people in life that say men, women, children, all sorts, you know, it's a connection here that one day we're going to all be together in heaven. That's right. We are brothers and sisters in the Lord. And it's exciting to me to have that experience while I'm shopping or doing the daily things there we do. There you go. I say, put your hands in. One, two, th oh, three, two, one. Three, two, one. Sisters! Sisters! Woo!
All right. Well, ladies, thank you so much for your consistency through the years, Amen. for showing up, for sharing your heart and pointing people Amen. to Jesus. And for you at home, thank you so much for watching them. Remember, they are on every Wednesday at 9 p.m. and their 10th anniversary wow. number 10 years will be what? premiering on October 18th at 9 p.m. So don't wow. miss it. Thanks, ladies. Right. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. <laughs> we got this. CTVN is committed to producing and airing programs that inspire your faith. I'm Sydney Goldman, host of Hope Today. Carol wrote us, I love 700 Club, Bible Discovery, Radiant TV, Superbook, Torchlighters, Origins, Hard Questions, and many more. This month, consider trying one of our programs you've never watched before. It might become a new favorite. And we are so glad that you are tuned into Cornerstone Telgen Network. Hope happens here. Well, I just have to take a moment to share an encouraging word from one of our partners with you. This card says, sunny skies remind me of you. What a beautiful card. This comes from Guy and Sally, and it reads, Dear Cornerstone staff, thinking of you always makes my day brighter. You all are being used by our Savior to help show his love and truth. Thank you for all you do those on camera and to those behind the scenes. And that is so important. You know, it is more than just the people sitting here that makes this work. It's actually probably 90% the people that are behind the scenes that allows Cornerstone Television to do this wonderful work that the Lord has called us to. So thank you for being a part of this mission to get the good news of Jesus Christ out over our airwaves 24 hours a day, seven days a week. We couldn't do it without you. Well, I love when Pastor Gary takes time to share his heart with us. Watch this. It's always such a joy when I get to sit with Pastor Gary, the chairman of the board. And this month in the October newsletter, you probably saw that Pastor Gary wrote the cover article all about visions of hope, <laughs> treasures in heaven. And so Pastor Gary, you have been with the station since its very beginnings with Russ and Norma, our founders. We have just a whole bunch of viewers who maybe don't know the vision, the beginnings. Can you talk about Russ and Norma and how everything got started? Wow, we need about a week to do that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the Bible says without a vision, people perish. And you know, we've been on the air here at Cornerstone Television for 44 years, but you have to remember, God gave the vision to Norma 10 years before that. So it's really been 54 years ago that God planted that seed. Her and Russ were actually down at the 700 Club. They went down for a conference. <clears throat> and as they were there, Norma's sitting there in one of the chairs in the lobby. And the Lord says to her, I want you to build a Christian television station in Pittsburgh. She's like, what does that even mean? You know, and so as her and Russ are driving home, she's sharing that with Russ. And all of a sudden, Russ gets this scripture and he says to her, get the Bible. And they find the scripture in Isaiah and she opens it up and reads it. And it says, I will raise high my signal to the nations. Well, when they came back, 10 years came when Norma sat here on this hill with six other intercessors. You talk about the power of prayer and digging ditches and they interceded to give birth to Cornerstone Television. And that's how it came on the air. It was actually on Resurrection Sunday, April the 15th, 44 years ago. And we've been on the air 24 hours a day, seven days a week doing nothing but one thing, and that is proclaiming the good news of Jesus Christ. And Anna, I would have to say that Russell and Norma, our founders, I call them ambassadors of hope because they had so many obstacles, so many stumbling blocks. I mean, the first day they went on the air, there was a fire 
and it took the whole station off the air and it took a whole year to get it back up and on again. I mean, you talk about having to persevere, having to overcome. And I say that to all of us as Christians and believers, you can never, ever, ever quit in what the vision God has given for you to fulfill. Mm -hmm. Amen, and I tell you what, God has purposed it will come to pass, even though the enemy comes strong against it, God will prevail. That's right. And so for all of these years, God has enabled us to stay on air proclaiming the gospel and we couldn't do it without our partners, our family. Can you just speak a word to them and just share your heart of how much you appreciate that they're um, investing into this place. Well, I, I love that passage in Matthew 5. It's Jesus' Sermon on the Mount. He says, don't lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where moth and rust corrupt and eat it all, but lay for yourselves treasures. I mean, don't lay up for yourself treasures on earth, but lay for yourself treasures in heaven, treasures in heaven. And then he says this, he says, for where your heart is, that's where your treasures are. Yeah. Now, let's be honest. We all lay up some treasures on earth. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all need things. The Bible says, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you. You will need things. You'll always need things. But what I appreciate are Christian people, our cornerstone family that have a heart to balance Yes, I, I, need, I need things for my children, for my family. I need food. I need a home. I need a car. I need all of that stuff. But I also love the gospel. I also want to be a blessing to Cornerstone Television. And so they sacrifice sowing into the heavenly things that are going to give us eternal value. And that, Anna, is the only reason we were able to get on the air 44 years ago and how God sustained us for the last 44 years. Norma said, when she said, well, Lord, I'm sure it costs a lot of money to build a Christian television station. Where are we going to get the money? And she said, the Lord said to her, my partners will have the money. And that's our partners. That's who we are so grateful for because honestly, we couldn't do it without you. Mm -hmm. It's so true. We are such a family and God has set it up so that we need each other, the body of Christ, to be able to take the message of Christ forward. And Pastor Gary, we have some very exciting programming coming up in October. Would you just extend an invitation to our viewers? Well, yeah, you know, the, uh, three times a year, we pause from our regular programming to ask you for your prayers and your partnership. And we have a Visions of Hope fundraiser. We used to do it for two weeks, yeah. but people like the regular programming. You know, say, hey, well, I don't, I don't want to miss my regular program. So we cut it back to one week, but the budget is still the same that we have to believe for. So we ask you to help us pray even now that God will bless our guests, it's a great time of ministry, but also meet the needs as we go into the fall so we can finish this year strong. Yes, amen. Well, God does continue to do so much exciting stuff here at Cornerstone Television. We love that you are a part of it. So thank you, Pastor Gary, for your time, for sharing your heart and the vision. And thank you for being with us and being a part of all that God is doing here at Cornerstone on television. Thank you for keeping our prayer line and program strong through your giving. I'm Crystal Tillman, Director of Marketing and Development here. Paula Road, thank you for being there in both good times and not so good times. And countless viewers have said the same. Without the generous support of our partners like you, CTVN wouldn't be there 24-7. You make it possible. Thank you for your giving, hope, 
happens here. Well, I don't know about you, but I know I'm always grateful to hear the stories of what God is doing here at Cornerstone Television and how he's using the different facets to minister the gospel and to draw people into himself. You know, our prayer line alone takes between 60 and 70,000 calls every year. And all of that is made possible because of your faithful donations to this work. It's God's work and we're so thankful to partner with you to make the kingdom of God have a voice over the airwaves and it's a voice of truth. I just want to read to you two more uh, letters that came in. It says, please, I pray, keep the shows that help me grow in Jesus Christ our Lord, like Charles Stanley, Robert Jeffries, Les Veldick, David Jeremiah, and Andrew Womack. Please and thank you and God bless all at Cornerstone Network for all you do in our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. And we're so thankful that came from Guy. You know, these words of encouragement mean a lot to everyone who participates here. We want to see people growing with God. And this comes from Elvie. It says, thank you for all your prayers and blessings in the name of Jesus. We are healed. Elva is her name. Beautiful. Well, Elva, thank you so much for partnering with us and for just taking the time to be a part of something bigger than yourself. And if you've yet to be a part of Cornerstone Network, I encourage you, give us a call. Connect with us. You know, if God lays on your heart to support our efforts, it's important that people know who Jesus is. That was our founder's just vision is that God was going to show people who he was and use TV as that middle ground. And now we're on YouTube and Facebook and Instagram and TikTok. I, and we're out there. God is using Cornerstone Television Network to minister to those around the world. So thank you for being a part of that. And just in reflection of, you know, Pastor Gary's article about our treasure. Where is our treasure? I think it's a good heartfelt question that we need to ponder on a regular basis and know the motive of our heart, you know, and make sure we're being led by his spirit. But I want to close with Romans 15 verse 13. May the God of hope fill you with all joy and peace as you trust in him so that you may overflow with hope by the power of the Holy Spirit. God desires to use your life and my life to be his living expression down here on earth. And that's exactly what Cornerstone Television serves to do with the many people that are involved. And thank you to those of you that keep this network on air. We could not possibly do it without you. To God be the glory. Well, as always, thank you for tuning in and Jesus loves you.